Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install MSI Afterburner and also take a look at the unique features like on-screen display. So while gaming, you can take a look at your GPU, your core temperature, FPS, anything else that you want to take a look at. So let's get started. We're going to begin at our desktop and open up Chrome. And inside the Google search, we'll type in MSI Afterburner. Now, the official URL for this website is going to be msi.com. So we have the Afterburner website that comes up first. And in here, uh, let me just accept this and close out of the way. We have the Afterburner that shows up on the main screen. We can just click on the download link and begin the download. So it's gonna download a zip file. And once the download's complete, we can go to our downloads folder. And here it is. And what we can do is I'm just gonna copy this onto my desktop so it's easier for us to see. There we go. And I'll close out of these windows. So what we want to do is extract all the files onto the same folder that we're in, which is the desktop. So we'll just say extract here, or if you're using the windows default settings, you can just extract to the same spot. So here is the extracted folder and there is the installation file. So I'm going to run it as administrator. I usually recommend doing that. So you have full access when you install applications like this and I'll just minimize this. So the first thing is what language we're going to choose. We're going to leave it as default as English, then click on next. And we want to accept the user agreement. So if you accept it, you can click on this and then click on next. And we're going to leave everything out here. Now, Rivet Tuner, we definitely want this. Rivet Tuner is an optional add-on, but what it allows you to do is it allows you to view your computer data live while gaming. And it pops up in the corner as an on-screen display. And this is very useful, specifically if you want to see what's impacting your gaming experience, you can really zero in on each component and find out if there is any problems. And if there isn't any problems, it just looks cool. So we're gonna have this installed as part of the package. So we're gonna leave this option checked and then click on next. And then we're gonna leave the default folder and name as is and click on install. And then it's gonna install the Afterburner tool. And then next it's gonna to wanna to install the Rivet Turner. And here is the next part. It's for the Riva Tuner. This is the optional part that we're going to install. Click OK. And we can accept the agreement and then click on Next. Leave the default folders and names as is. Unless you have a reason to change it, you can go ahead and change it. Click on Next and it'll extract and install the files. So once complete, you can uncheck the README unless you want to read all the documentation. Click on Finish and then we can uncheck the README and we can run MSI right after. So here we go. This is the default layout, uh, the default skin that comes up as well. You can change the, the way everything looks as well. Go inside and change the customized settings. And if you want to take a live look at what's happening on your computer, you click on the monitor button and it'll show you each individual component and all the information related to it. It'll give you the frame rate. Uh, it'll give you core temperatures, CPU speeds, Anything that's happening in your computer, this monitor will show it. Sometimes it's a little bit of an overkill. If you really want to zero in what the problem might be, this is very, very useful. Next, let's take a look at the settings. And inside the settings, we have lots of different options that we can select and customize this tool with. Um, I usually, by default, when I start up my computer, I like to have it running. So under general properties, I select start with windows. I keep that checked as well as start minimize just so it's always running in the background. I have easy access to it. Inside monitoring, we can enable and disable many different features that we want to monitor. By putting on a check mark next to it, we're actually going to activate it so you can see it in the monitoring tool. And then we can also have the option for the on screen display options as well. So you can just check them on and check them off as needed. One of the key pieces that you definitely want is to make sure that you're including the frame rate. Uh, this is for FPS, so you can see how many frames per second you're actually getting. And one of the things that you may want to do is enable the on-screen display option. So by doing that, you basically select it and then you check this little check mark box, which enables the feature. This is when you go into Rivet Tuner. The ones that you have selected for on-screen display will show up in the game. So we're just selecting a few right now. So I have the GPU selected, I have frame rate selected, and let me just quickly scroll through here and um, I'll turn on the CPU temperatures each individual core. So I'm just going to check each box. And so when I'm in the game, I can see individual core temperatures, GPU and frame speed. And then on screen display 
there's more customization features that you can do here as well. But this is a general overview of the MSI Afterburner program. I'm not gonna go into detail for every single component that's in here. There are a lot of features that we can take a look at. And if there's anything specific that you want me to check out, let me know in the comments below and I can go into more detail for those ones. One of the other popular features that you can use for MSI Afterburner is changing the skin. There are many different types of skins that you can choose from, as you can see from the list, and I'll just show you a couple of them. Yeah, so there's, I don't know, some of them are not exactly the greatest. That one's okay, sure. Uh, so I'll keep that as is. And when you have everything selected that you want, you can just hit or apply and okay and uh, it'll save the changes. There you go, so it changed the way it looked. Now the next thing that we wanna do is turn on the Riva Tuner, and the best way to do that is going into the Start menu. So next I'm gonna show you Riva Tuner. Uh, we just type in that name in the Start menu, and then we click on Start, and then we click on Yes, and it'll activate it. I wanna show you this feature because it's a very popular feature, uh, and a lot of people are using it. Once it's loaded, it's gonna show up in the bottom right-hand corner. And then to select it, you just wanna click on it and open it up. And then you can customize the way things look and activate. So inside the server settings, you can change the way things look, uh, including the color and the position. So uh, typically what people like to do is use an unusual color, like an orange or a bright green or a bright red or pink, something that shows up that won't blend in when you're, when you're playing a video game. Uh, so it's always easily seen in the top right hand corner. Uh, if you pick a very generic color like a like a blue or a black or something it might blend in so you won't see it so well so i'm just going to select red and uh, we can move on from here and yeah you can just zoom in and change the size of it and everything else uh, you can overlay the background and add a shadow to it uh, just that you can customize the text and everything else just so it has a unique standout feature to it. I'm gonna start up a game right now just so you can see it in action. Um, I just have, uh, I guess, StarCraft here. Uh, so we'll just load up the game and then you can see while it's running. Okay, so the game is loaded up and here you go. So on the left-hand side, you can see the GPU, the four CPU temperatures and the frame rates right there, the FPS. And it gives you a live look at what's actually happening on your PC. The colors and the view and the text and the font and everything else can be customized. I'm basically using mostly default settings, but you can change the size and the scale of this however you want. You can even have a graph show up and show the changes over time. This is just to give you a general idea of what you can do with the Riva Tuner as well as MSI Afterburner. I'm trying not to go into too much detail and make this video long and boring. I just want to give you an idea of what the features are and what it's actually capable of. And if you want me to go into detail on anything specific, please let me know in the comments below. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you find this useful. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.